Today I'm going to show you how to fix the tow angle on the rear of a 2002 to 2005 Honda Civic Si EP3. Uh, give you a quick glimpse of my car. It looks like the previous owner hit something here. If you've been watching my previous videos and I went ahead and replaced the rear trailing arms because the right side was broke here and upon inspection of the placing the tire back on the rotor I dirty took off the brake again got ahead of myself I noticed that the tow was towing out you can kind of tell from the video so again uh, the first thing you want to check if your tow is off is if you have any bent parts which I might uh, this right here could potentially bend this also is what controls your camber so they do make a camber kit it runs about a hundred bucks slightly less for these cars um, I'll go ahead and drop a link for that below but this video is again going to be addressing the tow uh, to give you a quick alignment 101 the tow is what this so if your tires are running straight neutral in line and they're faced inward that's going to be tow in and if they're running outward that's tow out typically on the rear you want to run neutral zero degrees uh, either direction on the front again depends on the application I will go ahead and link down below or if I can pull up the factory specs of what the alignment should be although most alignment shops if you take it somewhere professionally will be able to tell you so um, again we're gonna go ahead here first thing you want to do is remove the tire I've already went ahead and done that again just typical I'm mine's an 03 so it's a uh, four lug if you have an 0405 it's gonna be a five lug but it's just a 19 millimeter socket deep socket so once you get that the bolt we're gonna be dealing with is right here this one right here if you can kind of see it it has like a little moon shape on it and on the outside the 17 millimeter and this is a 24 millimeter this acts as your lock nut and this is what actually adjusts the uh, toe angle so I'm also gonna uh, loosen these uh, let me see here one second let me go grab a bolt so if you have factory rear trailing arms that look like this on this side it would be positioned like this so the three bolts here go in and then this is your center bolt and the bolts that hold it in are this special 10 point socket it's only designed for this application and requires a special 19 millimeter Honda Acura rear trailing arm socket I paid 10 bucks for this it's a lifesaver you do not want to strip these because then you'll be uh, you'll have some other issues on your hand so I'll drop a link that, uh, for that down below as well. But uh, again, mine's aftermarket. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these. I don't know if you have to. I'm just gonna do it as a precaution to allow for the movement of as we uh, adjust this nut here. It's also a good idea as these cars are nearing 20 years old and they've you know seen the neglect, road grime, salt, anything like that, to apply some penetrating oil. I'm using PB Blaster on these bolts and nuts just to try to break them free prior to uh, attempting to remove them you'd hate to round it out so again first things first I'm gonna use my impact loosen these not take them all the way up. just make them loose so now you see it shifted so it has released a little bit from its actual uh, chamber there whatever's holding the arm to the actual knuckle so now I'm gonna get a 17 millimeter and back off this nut right here on the end I did say back off however I'm gonna go ahead and remove it fully if it breaks loose here on me that came off pretty easy again if you don't have an impact I'd highly recommend the Milwaukee's they are amazing at what they do so I already had the 24 millimeter out as you can see it fits nice and snug put it back on the impact and we'll see if it goes ahead and moves the actual knuckle assembly here again we're wanting the tire to shift out because right now we have a actually we want it to shift in we want toe in it's currently sitting out so that way, as you can see, it just brought it in even more. By in, I mean it brought it out. Sorry, I'm looking at it backwards here. All right, let's do it again. Not much movement. So 
so that's out as far as it'll go and as you can see it's a lot straighter than it was so there's probably a proper way to actually get a good measurement if you have a tape measure I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I know exactly how I'm just going off how it looks I am gonna take it in and get it professionally aligned this is just gonna be enough to get me there safely so now I'm gonna go ahead and put that 17 millimeter nut back on and get it torqued down. I don't know the exact torque specs. We'll just go level two on this impact here. And it looks like it's gonna move, so I'm gonna have to get a uh, 24 millimeter wrench and put on this at the same time as I tighten it with this. So let me go grab a wrench. Alrighty, I'm back with a 24 millimeter here. If it'll focus. Go ahead and put that here. You're gonna wanna hold that nice and tight. Should probably put the nut on first. Okay, just like that, you don't want to take your uh, either your 10 point if you have factory bolts here or if you have aftermarket ones. In my case, they're 19 millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and retorque those down as well. Not too tight. Again, don't know the torque specs on these. I can link it down below. Okay, and then don't be like me and take off your brake for no reason. Uh, it's not needed. I was just taking a look at everything. Again, I just replaced these if you've been watching my video. I've done a whole plethora of things on this car so far. So now I'm going to go ahead, throw the tire on, get it strapped up, and see how she looks. Pretty quick and easy process. I already threw the wheel back on. As you can see, it's pretty scraped up from the accident or whatever the previous owner did. Uh, the wheels are torqued to 80 pounds on these. I believe that's factory spec. Again, I'll drop uh, all the information and tech knowledge down below. And remember, it's always a good idea whenever you alter or modify your suspension in any way, just to get an alignment. You know, tires are expensive, especially now, uh, 2024 prices. You know, whether you do a lowering kit, springs, shocks, struts, touch any of the control arms, coilovers, it's always a great idea. So that wraps up this video on how to adjust the rear toe angle on a 2002 to 2005 Honda Civic SI EP3. This could also apply to other vehicles with this same exact kind of setup in the rear. Again, I'm not quite sure off the top of my head uh, what other vehicles this pertains to. If you have any questions on the process or any questions on Civic EP3s in general, feel free to ask me down below.